Okay, number three, changes in the plan will result in the production of a, we have a, construction change directive, b, change order, c, addendum, d, depends on timing. All right, so here you go. Um, this is one of those uh, annoying ones uh, that uh, the correct answer is absolutely D. It depends on the timing. Uh, and the reason for that is that um, construction change directive, change orders, and addendums are all changes to the plan that are uh, important and contractual. Uh, they're not just you know, changes that you're making in, in-house and uh, you know, kind of as the drawings get get sort of brought up to up to speed. These are all contractual type of changes. Uh, but at different points along the, the way, they get called different things. So uh, hopefully the word addendum is not a surprise to you because it does, it's likely to show up, so is change order. So addendum is gonna be one of those things where uh, you've done a bid set, you've set out, um, the sent the, the bid information out to the various bidders, uh, they're going to look at that uh, information, and uh, as they start pulling the numbers together, uh, they're bound to have some questions. And so they're going to call you up and ask you a bunch of those questions. And the key thing about during bidding is you never answer the questions. Uh, because if you answer a question somebody asks you, then they now have information that's different from somebody else. And the entire point is that everybody has apples to apples so that the numbers are all directly comparable. But what you do is you take their questions and you assemble in, after a while you get you know, questions from various different people and you sort of play it by ear what the logical timeline of the addendum is. But at some point you say, okay, I've got seven questions or 10 questions or something. Uh, we're gonna call it and we're gonna give, call this a, an addendum. And it gets numbered and it gets sequenced. And that addendum is, here's the question that we received, here's the answer we're giving. Here's the question we received, here's the answer we're giving. And the addendum is uh, dated and numbered, and it might have general information, it might have contractual information, it might have uh, direct material information. Um, there's all kinds of things that could come up in that. So that's the addendum. Uh, it then becomes part of the bid package uh, so that when the bidders are giving the bids back, it's not just the original bid package, the drawings and the specs, it's also including uh, any and all addendums so that it, it becomes part of that. So a major change absolutely would show up and be called uh, an addendum, uh, but only in that period. As soon as a bidder is chosen, we then have a, a general contractor. This is clearly the de delivery method I'm talking about here is design, bid, build. As I said, if it doesn't say uh, a, a specific delivery method, then you just assume design, bid, build. Um, once we have a general contractor chosen, once we have a bidder chosen, uh, then a change is a change to the contract. Uh, and so th when, they, when their bid was accepted and the contract was all sort of put together, uh, your drawings, the specifications, the addendums, all that stuff becomes part of the contract between the owner and the contractor. Uh, so that's all the contract, and then if something needs to get changed, and it happens all the time, lots of things change, uh, something needs to get changed, you are changing the contract. So that's a change order. And just like a contract, it's going to have the sort of essence of the contract uh, built into it. So the essence of every contract in terms of uh, these kinds of construction contracts is always going to be what's the scope change, what's the dollar change, what's the timeline change, in exactly the same way that your, uh, the owner contractor contract, the essence of that contract is what's the scope that we're building, how much are we charging for that, and how long will it take. So that's the essence of the contract always, and every change also has to represent those three parts. So change order, also a totally reasonable answer, but only after a bidder is chosen. Uh, and then there's construction change directive, and that's that weird one that uh, if the contractor isn't willing to make the changes, they, like maybe let's say uh, the contractor is just sort of generally unhappy with things, and you say, okay, we're gonna we're gonna change from uh, uh, wood shingles to uh, uh, you know wood shakes, which would be very very similar to shingles, uh, and the contractor says, okay, um, a hundred thousand dollars. You're like, that's crazy, it should be $3,000. Uh, and the contractor says, ah, I don't care, it's $100,000. Uh, 
Uh, this doesn't actually happen all that often, but I'm, I'm giving it voices so you kind of understand it, right? Uh, so there's some real problem. They're just unhappy and they're trying to kind of screw you. So what do you do? Well, what you're trying to do is a change order because you want to change the contract. They're not willing to do it at a price point that makes sense. So you would actually issue a construction change directive. And so that's effectively a change order where you're saying, make the change, we're changing the contract, and we will at some point at a later time, uh, either through arbitration or uh, mediation or through some other system that's delineated in the contract, uh, bring in a third party who will make a, uh, a it will figure out what a reasonable price would have been, and then we'll go back and pay you that amount of money. So it's a way of doing a change order when there's obstruction. Um, so all three of those are changes to the plan, uh, but they all would depend on timing and situation. So hence D.